in the spot now where you're you can't afford a loss is it must wins all the way through now uh yeah i think so i think we also have to hope for some games to go certain ways um which i mean there's nothing you can do about all we can do is control what uh, we we're doing out there and come out with an, a good game tomorrow a good first end tomorrow and then um go forward from there so we can't look ahead too much but uh, we'll have to be sharp for sure uh is it a frustrating position to be in or that just kind of the way the draw works sometimes <laughs> well that's what happens when you lose a couple games and um we uh all the games that we lost like really could have gone either way there were some uh swing shots in both of them so um <laughs> this is for me a first time skipping i'm uh, just happy to still have a chance at this point and we're just uh, gonna go in tomorrow and try to start off well and um yeah hopefully get a win out of it and i just sorry one last quick question you end up playing uh chelsea i think tomorrow night that could be a big game for obviously a big game for both of you correct uh yes yeah i think that's that's a, that's our draw tomorrow night yeah what's it a breather for you uh yeah yeah i mean they start it started off <laughs> close and they were um making a lot of great shots so we had to be sharp and uh, we were fortunate enough to pull away a little bit but um that it's that's what happens out there sometimes it's um it the game can you're going for it a little bit so uh steals can happen but yeah it was nice just to to get some more reps out there and um see some more shots and learn a little bit more from the ice map and for me i'm still learning um how everyone's throwing because normally i'm not the one in the house i'll end i just watch rachel throw so i'm i'm learning a little bit more about where to put the broom down and um, everyone's throwing great. Um, I'm just trying to take all the information in. Uh, do you think four losses is playing with fire? You've got three and you've given your chance, your team a chance, but do you think four is too many? Honestly, I haven't looked. I'm, we're just trying to do what we can control and try to come out with uh, a win in the next one. And, um, do it by doing that we're just trying to make one shot at a time so i'm really not looking at the leaderboard at all we can't control like who beats who and all that out there um we just have to go out and play our game and do our very best and um, that's what we've been doing this whole time and so we're just hoping that it goes our way tomorrow for lynn lynn always great as an alternate to uh, get some action in but uh, especially against a team that you have previous experience coaching uh, yeah. what's it like to now compete against those athletes Oh, it's awesome. I mean, seeing Sadie out there who she's been my OG. I was with her for all, I believe, mm -hmm. three seasons that I was with those girls and uh, to see her performing at this level and to be shooting as well as she is. It's it's really exciting to see. So happy to have passed on the torch to Donalda, who's clearly doing a very good job with those girls. So uh, it's exciting to see them uh, take a lot of these teams to last rock in some certain in some cases. So uh, Penny, can you just give us a give me a quick update on Mark Lang's status? What's going on with him? Um, we haven't found out yet uh, from his latest test. What's up? We're still hoping that he'll be back in the lineup tomorrow, um, but we don't know for sure yet. Is he in Thunder Bay? He is in Thunder Bay. I know this is the third question. What is he doing to work with the team? How is that working out? Um, so we still do our pre-game chats, um, just as we would always do. We just do it over FaceTime. Um, when he's able to watch the game, then we can have our FaceTimes at fifth end. Just he, he sees what's going on. He can give us some feedback. So it seems very um, normal that way, except for you're talking to a phone. Um, but it's, it's been good to still have him there. We do our debriefs after. It's just that he's, he's not on the ice surface with us. But we know he's always um, there pulling for us, and he's watching shot for shot on the line scores. He has nothing else to do. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. And I just wanted to ask you a little bit about what it feels like to be back in Northwestern Ontario and uh, sort of your memories of curling here that have, uh, you know, uh, led you to the Scotties in Saskatchewan. Oh, it feels amazing to be back home in Thunder Bay. I have so many family members here and I'm, I'm feeling all the support uh, either through social media, texting, phone calls and I'm even getting uh, some messages from some of my old co-workers, everybody at Canada Post. So, <laughs> And I'm enjoying the home-cooked food every oh, now and again. absolutely. 
So, I mean, uh, talk about, I guess, Jenna, about how you guys are performing then. Uh, you know, you're going to be uh, somewhat happy with, uh, with the results. Oh, absolutely. Like we're, we're in a really good position right now and we've got a lot of momentum going forward into our next games and there's really only one way to go, but up. We're playing really well. Looking at the jam up, trying to get to that final or get to the playoffs, how important was this win for you today to keep in the hunt? I mean, every, every win is just as big. Um, we're trying to just focus shot by shot at this point. And not get too far ahead. Live in live in the moment. Play in the moment. You know, that's that's what's got got us here. Um, that's how we played the whole season. Um, yeah, that's a huge win, but each one is. And I think we'll just keep playing our game shot by shot, and um, hopefully that gets us into the playoff round. Any of the teams like like any of the teams now at three losses? That's kind of the limit, wouldn't you think? I don't know. I feel like our pool, it, it who knows? Everybody, uh, everybody, everybody can, can win. Anybody yeah. Here. Yeah. So it's just a matter of just keeping your foot down and do as much as you can. And hopefully that's, that's enough. That's, that's pretty much how we've done the whole season. What's the difference between St. Catharines and uh, this year? Um, yeah, I think um, 2017, there's a couple things. We did not have near the experience we do now. We worked a lot on that over the last five years. Um, I think there was that level of, you know, excitement. And I think we put a lot of pressure on ourselves to, to win um, and not just focus on that, the process, which is just making shots. And so I think doing like relaxing, uh, was a huge part of it, but then also just getting that a little extra experience on arena ice, um, playing some different bond spiels against the top teams, and that's helped us prepare. And I feel like that's showing up now. So you like your numbers? Yes. Uh, have you been looking at uh, Curling Canada's um, uh, stats at all? They have I don't. Posted? I don't look at them at all. I feel like you need a lot of context to go behind those numbers. So unless, like for me, it really doesn't matter. That's the past. And the only thing we can um, look at is, is, it, is look forward and making shots in the future. So yeah, I've never been one to look at those numbers after the competition. Yeah, I'll go back and take a look and see if there's things e to improve. Even looking at other teams, you can look at their trends as well. Yeah. And we, you can take advantage of... Yeah what they do well or what they don't do well. So that's one other way you could look at the numbers. Yes. Yeah. Sir, you guys got down three, nothing early. What was the mindset there? How did you, how did you stay focused and in the, in the moment there to, to not let that one get away early? Um, I mean, we went out there. We, we felt like we knew what the ice was going to do. We felt like we had a good handle on the speed. Um, we just got a little unlucky with a couple of our rocks, just uh, hit a few fresh spots not throwing quite as sharp as we, we wanted to. Um, so, I mean, we knew, we knew we could make the shots. It was just a matter of sharpening up for the second end. Um, so we, you know, nose to the grindstone, get your two back, and then it's just a one point game. Uh, and after that, we just kept grinding it out and playing the way that, you know, we, we knew we could to stay in that game. A lot of steals toward the end. I mean, you really forced them to make some tough shots that, uh, that they, they weren't able to make. Uh, yeah, I think our goal sort of going into this game was uh, not to not to overcomplicate things, you know, keep it sort of simple um, and just put the pressure on when we could. Uh, so it was a close game the whole way the whole way through. Um, we felt like we were making our shots really well. So going into the last few ends, we just really wanted to dial up that pressure and see if we could get a few misses out of them. Uh, and I think we were just, you know, fortunate enough that we, we gave her a couple tough shots there that uh, just didn't quite hit for her. Question here, uh, just down to a Northern Ontario team is extremely skilled. Is that a confidence boosting win? Um, yeah, it feels good for sure. I mean, we had a heartbreaker yesterday. Um, so I think it was great that we were able to come back um, today and bounce back against a team that strong uh, and perform as well as we did. Uh, I mean, it feels great, obviously, anytime you get a win here, but uh, to knock off, uh, you know, one of the favorites in the event. Um, yeah, it definitely boosts your confidence a little bit. 
Uh, Selena, can you tell me what uh, the difference is between the bubble in Calgary last year and the bubble this year? Is there any difference? There's not really any difference. We're uh, staying in the hotel and all that we're, we're just in the hotel and the arena back and forth. There's not much of a difference really this year at all. What about mentally? Oh, mentally. <laughs> um, no, I would say the same. We're still uh, just in our hotel room and doing the same things as we were really in the Calgary bubble, just focusing on curling and trying to keep ourselves busy while we're at the hotel. Is it different though from this year in terms of from last year in terms of getting used to it that that you come in here and, and now it's feeling, uh, you know, you maybe you get set a little easier uh, with, you know, exactly what's going on. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's definitely um, easier now that we had already been in the Calgary bubble. We got used to the kind of sitting around in the hotel and ordering all of our meals in. And so it's definitely um, been nice to have that experience last year. Going into this year, we know what to expect. Considering the log jam there is in the standings right now, how big a win was that for your team to keep to keep you guys very much in the hunt for that final play or for a playoff spot? Yeah, that was a huge win. Uh, Chelsea's team is great, and it's it's huge to get any win here at the Scotties. So we just want to go out and play our game and hopefully come out with a win in every game that we play. Oh, whenever you ask your fellow skips, they say they're just concentrating on the game or one game at a time. But do you look at the standings when you go to a game and know where like where you are and how important each game is? No, I don't. I don't even know what the standings look like right now, to be honest. Uh, so. Like, like you said, uh, our team just goes um, and pays attention to the game that we have in front of us, and uh, we don't pay attention to anything outside of that. As a front-end player, how important is your performance to the team's general success? Yeah, I think setting up the ends and uh, giving, giving Selena um, good rocks to be able to read the, the different paths, I think, is, is very important. I uh, always feel bad when I uh, don't set up the ends well, because uh, just it's not good <laughs> <laughs> but she does a great job of setting up the ends every end anyways so it's it's awesome having her at lead thanks